Keene, everyone. I'm going to tell you a story about Canada. Oh, Canada. Are we proud of our country or what? Yeah, we are. Canada has produced some of the world's top figure skaters. Today, my first three guests are sharing their secrets to success. Watch this. Tessa Virtue, Scott Moyer, and Elvis Stoiko, Canadian skating legends. Tessa and Scott have quickly become the most decorated figure skaters in Olympic history. Paired together at the ages of seven and nine, they've been on the road to success ever since. Their longevity and their partnership, paired with their versatility on the ice, has caught the attention of the world. With three world championships, eight national championships, multiple world records, and numerous Olympic medals to their name, it is no wonder that to many, they are considered the greatest ice dancers of all time. Elvis Stoiko paved the road for many Canadian figure skaters. He is the first person to land a quadruple double jump combination. He is a name that will never be forgotten in the skating world. Elvis won his first national title in 1994 at the Canadian Championships and went on to win the silver medal at the Nagano Olympics in 1998 despite an injury. Now Tessa Scott and Elvis have joined together with many other incredibly talented Canadian figure skaters for the Thank You Canada Tour to thank their country for all the love and support. Yes, Santa! Well, first of all, Elvis Stoika, how the hell are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing you great. and I go way back. It's so great to see this retrospective and, and you look and the well. hair. Oh, yeah, the hair. Yeah. Listen, you're, you're, you're aging beautifully. Thank and you. And you know what? We're so glad that you're, you're here. This is the first time on this show. Yes. So thank you for coming in today. Thank you, Canada Tour. Tell us about it. Yeah, yeah. Come Ooh. on. <laughs> well, we started on the West Coast. We're making our way all the way east. And we're going into smaller communities that have never seen skating. That right, because you and I talked yeah. about that before. Right. So that was great. I mean, yeah. you're influencing so many people. Well, I hope so. And we just yeah. want to entertain. It's a fun show, an incredible cast of, uh, you know, really good friends, just the yeah. nine Tell of us who's on, that, on the show. On we the have... Show. Oh. The three of Who us, Patrick, Patrick Chan. I know him. Patrick Chan. <laughs> uh, Caitlin Osman, Megan Duhamel, and uh, Eric Radford. Uh, Caitlin Weaver, Andrew Poget. And that's that's it. all nine of us, yeah. So, so this, uh, this is going to wrap up pretty soon, isn't it? We're, we finish at the end of November. Yeah. yeah. Only, only nine more cities. Yeah, so yeah. It'll be airing on TV. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm so excited about that. You want to tell, tell us about that? Yeah, December 2nd. Right? Yeah. Woo! Right we're, here we're on this network. That. TV yeah, special. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Elvis, you're known for pushing the boundaries, as I mentioned on that, you know, on that uh, film piece. Uh, and, and also, you're, you're pushing the boundaries on and off the ice, because now you're into acting. Yes. And yep. you're, come look at you. Yeah, Tell yeah. us what you've been up to. Well, last few, last few years, uh, I was in Chicago uh, on stage. How about uh, that? Right there, yeah. Billy Flynn. Yeah, in, uh, both in New York and here in Toronto. How was that for you? How did that feel for you? An incredible experience. Yeah. I was nervous as heck. Uh, the very first show, and then once I got out there, I mean, Billy Flynn has to have that confidence. So yeah. the first moment I stepped down the stairs, we were talking about stairs yeah. earlier, step, and you yeah. have to hit it. And yeah. as soon as I got into that, I was like, yeah, I love this feeling. And doing Murdoch Mysteries this year, yeah. um, this season, which is a lot of fun, Yannick was fantastic to work with. So yeah. it's 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 growing and, and, and continuing to go. So stage is not too far away, right? Because you've got to do how many eight performances and... You know, there's only one day off kind of a thing, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's performance is performance. I mean, there's a different skill set that you're learning. My dad was a singer, so he, I worked with him on that. But then just being around people in front of people every night, yeah. that type of thing. So you gain that, that ism for, for performing. Sure.
Tessa. I was going to just add to that that my new favorite thing is running lines with Elvis on the bus. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are you going to get into acting? Oh, no, no, no. But I just like to toss out the odd accent and throw okay. them off a bit. <laughs> Scott, are you going to get into acting? I'm in the back acting? lounge. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Are you going to get into acting? I don't think I? that's for me. That's no, for you? I'm yeah. more the on ice specialist. Yeah, I saw the insurance commercial. I thought you had some. Well, thank you. That was good. Thank I thought, there you. There you go. Thank you. You are a Tessa and Scott are being inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame coming up very soon. December 1st, with my friend Andrea Martin. Oh. This is exciting times. What do you, how do you feel about that? You know, it's hard to even eloquently articulate how that feels. It's, um, it's surreal and it's overwhelming. And, and That's why have, I let you take this question. We have such <laughs> admiration for our fellow inductees, and yeah. we look forward to December 1st. It's going to be a gonna very be special great, day. Great, great very, night. Very great afternoon and tonight. It's going to be awesome. And then you're nominated for, listen, listen this, a People's Choice Award this Sunday, Most Hypeworthy Canadian of 2018. <laughs> but you're in very good company. Because, let me tell you, Sean Mendes, Sandra O, oh, Ryan Reynolds, and Drake are all in your company. Yeah. So there you go. Not, not bad. Look not out, bad. Here all. comes the ice dancers. Coming at you. One of these things, not so, like the other. To, you know, your success is, we all know your success, and we want to know a little bit about some of the narrative as you were making your way up there. So, so when we're talking about professional skating, I'll start with you, Elvis, for, for example. Did you, when did you know that skating was recreation that w would go into professional? When did that change happen? It's a, it's a weird time. It's not like sort of overnight. It kind of phases in. But I started yeah. when I was about five years old. But when I really started training it was about seven or eight. And then from there, it's sort of, you know, you take that commitment thinking, you know, I think I can do this. This is really what I want to do. Yeah. And it's not till, it wasn't until later that I, that I really thought, wow, you know what, I think I can, I think I can make the Olympics. Yeah. I think that's a really feasible goal for me. And that was around 10 or 11. And each year it slightly changes. You get a little closer, a little closer. Yeah. And were your, how were your parents on all, all this? And the fact that they were the, they were encouraging but not pushing? Because I know a lot of people want, whether they're hockey players or skaters, you know, or figure skaters, or whatever the Olympic sport might be, the potential, the, the parenting is very important on that, right? That is very yeah. important. When I do, when I do um, talks about that, a lot of parents ask how, did my parents handle it? And yeah. They gave me a lot of support. Um, they always were there for whatever I needed. They didn't over push. Uh, yeah. They were there to support, especially in the times where I'm kind of coming down a little bit or it's hard on myself or I needed a little kick in the butt yeah. every once in a while. Sure. But it, it was a way that was very healthy for me. Yeah. But I was one of those kids that was just, it was one more minute on the ice. My mom was okay, we got to go. No, I got to do it a little See, bit there more. You go. Like, you know, so. I think it's passion, isn't it? You yeah, it's inside isn't? of you. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Did you feel the same way? Scott? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and sometimes the best thing you can do is a, oh, I, I'm not a parent, but that my parents did, yeah. um, was give me that balance. So right. that life away from the arena. Um, mm -hmm. And my mom was, was a figure skating coach, but never ever taught me. Um, but always, you know, was there in that role of support, like you talked about. Always felt like they had your back. But sure. when you walked away from the arena, you had, a, yeah. you had the other part of your life, which was your family. It's just that sometimes I don't think parents really know how to behave when their child might have it's, a glimmer of talent. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean, Tessa? Yeah. Right? Right? I mean, it's hard to see because that internal drive is, has to be stronger than anything else. And right. I think had our parents pushed us, we would have yeah. not lasted the way we did or yeah, succeeded. That has to come from yeah. within you. That has come from within, and I think it's, it takes your own passion. We thought it would be fun to send fitness expert, our fitness expert, Nick Vasiliev, to skate with one of you for your Thank You Canada Tour Skating as Stars, and we, we sent him with Patrick Chan. Let's see what happened. <laughs> I'm here at the Tribute Community Center in Oshawa to get a behind the scenes look of the Thank You Candidate Tour and maybe get a quick lesson while I'm here. I'm about to get on the ice with an ice skating legend and I'm really not sure about my abilities on the ice. I just hope that he doesn't make me leave the ground at least too many times. We're going to start with bending our knees. That's the most, one of the most important things in skating is Ooh. knowing how to bend your ankles and your knees. I can, I'm bending my ankles. Okay, so then we're gonna squat, Okay. bend, okay. there you go, like a nice cool. squat, and then come back up. Nice. Okay, now we can go try and lift one foot. One and foot. And balance. Now that we're standing on one foot, I'm realizing that balance on the ground and balance on ice are two completely different things. Try to hold for like three seconds, like one, My balance two, is great. Three, yeah. one, two, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll take two. Ready, and one, 
two. Okay, good. Okay, close. I'm realizing how tough it is to even hold my leg up for two seconds. One. One, two. Two. Okay, that okay. counts. <laughs> See? There we go. Now remember, I'm gliding elegantly. <laughs> my wipeout was nothing short of graceful gliding among the ice. All right, so what's next? Okay, so let's let's try this lunge thing. All right, here ready we go. Ready and push. There you go. Okay. Yeah, Wait, pull yeah. it off this foot? He looks kind of cool. <laughs> there you go. Did, Did I just you, give you, you an you idea for a show. new routine? <laughs> yeah. We do that in the show. You can wow. join us. <laughs> Guys, I'm recruited. <laughs> I'm glad that I taught Patrick a thing or two about spinning on the ground. Patrick, I got a level with you, yes. and I'm holding on to you for dear life right now. <laughs> I think I've reached my limit of this performance. Okay, that's fine. But that's I'm going to let you take it away and show us how it's really done. <laughs> okay, okay. And I'm just going to find safety. Okay. Somewhere. <laughs> Stay away from the that's flying right. blades. You have fun, you roll with it. Okay. Glide with it. Okay, Glide I will. With it. I will. I'm going to roll. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Well, I've already demonstrated the spin on the ground. On the ground, so yeah. You gotta, this yeah. is... On the blade. Wow, okay. Wow, now I know why I kept my distance. Yeah, the flying blade part. Taking a step back and watching Patrick do all of these fantastic tricks, one, you're just marveling at his ability to do this, but two, it's slightly intimidating, I guess, but it just raises your appreciation for the art altogether. All right, Nick, you want to give it a shot? No, I think I'm done. I think I'm done for the day, but... This was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure. For the lesson, for uh, making me leave this wonderful surface of the ground. It feels much better being on the ground after being Yes, here. but <laughs> I gotta say, you make this look like your home. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, that just shows you, because Nick's an athlete, incredible athletes we have, and artists, too. Thank you so much for coming in. It's so nice to see you again, see you again soon. If if you don't get to see Thank You Canada Tour when it comes to your hometown, you don't want to miss it because, as you mentioned, it's going to be CTV's two-hour special of the tour on Sunday, December 2nd at 8 p.m. Two hours! Fabulous! <laughs> Fantastic. The day after you get inducted into the... Walk of Fame. That is a big week for you guys. You too. All the best, Thank all right? You Thank you so much for coming Thanks in. For we'll see you soon. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. So December 1st is December 2nd. Coming up, Dr. Oz is helping us go behind.